Rendering a scene using either Mental Ray or iRay can be time consuming if you're looking to create a test animation or a final animation that has the qualities of the viewport render settings. The Quicksilver hardware renderer will give you the results you're looking for while speeding up render time dramatically. The hardware renderer provides options for all the viewport shading settings, including realistic, hidden line, and non-photorealistic modes like acrylic and pastel. Open the file Chapter 6 Quicksilver01.max. The file opens looking through an animated camera that takes us through a ride loading room from the point of view of the rider. To see the animation, activate the camera 002 viewport, then click play on the VCR control panel. You can see the camera enter the room, turn, and exit looking back into the room. If we rendered this scene with mental ray or eye ray, it would take several minutes per frame, and the total 300 frame animation could take longer than we want. Here's where we will use the Quicksilver hardware renderer to speed up the render time for our animation test. Open the render setup dialog. Make sure the common panel is visible. Scroll to the bottom of the common panel and open the Assign Renderer rollout. Notice the Production Renderer and the Material Editor Renderer have been unlinked. Doing this allows you to change the Production Renderer without affecting the rendered sample spheres in the Material Editor. Click the Production Renderer option to the right of the production entry. From the Choose Renderer dialog, choose the Quicksilver Hardware Renderer and click OK. If we review the common panel in the Render Setup dialog, we can see that we are rendering the active time segment and rendering to the QHD resolution, 960 by 540. The render output is set to save the file to the render output directory within the project folder. Switch to the Renderer panel. Since this is a quick test rendering, we're going to set the rendering duration per frame to the time option. This way, we know how long 3ds Max will take to render each frame of the animation. The default value is 10 seconds, giving us an estimated time of 50 minutes to render the entire animation. For our purposes, this will work just fine. Keep in mind, this is just an estimate, so it may take longer depending on the speed of the computer. In the Visual Style and Appearance rollout, Set the visual style rendering level to realistic. At this point, we could decide to use a non-photorealistic rendering level. Keep the textures and transparency options selected, but the edge faces option deselected. In the lighting and shadows area, ensure the illuminate width option is set to scene lights and that the highlights option is checked. Check the ambient occlusion option. Change the radius to 6. Then check the indirect illumination option and change the sample distribution area to 10 feet. We're going to leave the indirect lighting shadows disabled. Leave the reflections option checked. We do not want to render using depth of field, so deselect the depth of field option. Now we're ready to render the animation. Click Render to start the process. You can let your rendering finish, but I'm going to cancel the rendering and view the animation that was previously rendered using the RAM player. From the Rendering menu, choose the RAM player. In the RAM player toolbar, click the Open button for Channel A. Navigate to the Render Output directory and double-click on the Chapter 6 folder to open it. Scroll down until you get to quicksilver underscore 0000.png. Click on the image to select it, and make sure the sequence option is checked at the lower left of the dialog. Then click open. In the image file list control dialog, keep the defaults and click OK. Click OK to accept the defaults in the RAM player configuration dialog. The frames of the animation will begin to load into memory. 
Once the frames have completely loaded, click play in the VCR controls of the RAM player to play the animation.